obviously Bobby wants his lads to start pushing up a bit onto the halfway line, try and play United in their half of the field. But they're going forward now with Townsend in possession. Wise. And it's sliced off Pallister for an own goal. Jury went in with Pallister, and Bobby Campbell doesn't really care whose shin it went off, because Chelsea had taken the lead. 15 minutes gone, and Manchester United rocked. It looked so innocuous. Now, did Jury get the touch, or did it come off Pallister? Either way... Well, it looked to me as if it came off uh, Pallister, when he had a slice at it here. Perhaps this picture will show, yes. I don't think Jury got a touch, but he's claiming it. <laughs> but I think it was Pallister's goal. The important thing is, the scoreline reads Manchester United nil, Chelsea won. Webb, Blackmore and Ince, the three United players over the ball for this free kick. Webb who takes it. And Besant dealt with that quite contemptuously. No, not quite the pace required to beat Dave Besson from that distance. I would have thought uh, Clayton Blackmore might have had a bang because he, he's really got a hard shot. Bruce up well, but it breaks for Stewart. Nice skill from the youngster. Townsend. Lusso. Into Jury. He tried to chest it down into the path of Perry Dixon ahead of him. Moncow. Oh, nice play by Lusso. And not a bad ball either. Bruce just about cut it out as Dixon was threatening to run onto it. Here's Phelan, straight away under pressure, and Townsend's done brilliantly for Chelsea here. He's going alone. Oh, what a marvellous goal! Andy Townsend scores a beauty! No smiles from Bobby Campbell, but inside, he will be feeling as happy as these Chelsea supporters. Two goals in less than five minutes for Chelsea. Andy Townsend's first league goal as a Chelsea player, and it could hardly have been more special. He had no support, he had to go all the way himself, and he did so superbly. Pallister and Bruce both forward again for the kick. Bruce! Well blocked, Bruce again, and it took a deflection for another corner. Well, Steve Bruce has scored three goals in his last five games and six altogether for United this season. He is so dangerous in these situations. Well, you feel that United have to get a goal now, Alan, because they're putting uh, Chelsea under quite a bit of pressure here. They need to get one. Let's see if they can. Pallister climbing high again. Oh, and somehow Wallace got there. And the smallest man in the penalty area got the head of the counted. Raining goals at Old Trafford now. Three goals in the space of eight minutes. And little Danny Wallace getting Manchester United back into the picture after the mighty figure of Pallister had caused the danger. What a good header, though, by Wallace. I think Dave Besson might have been a little unhappy. He didn't get uh, both hands to the ball and even punched it away. He got a bit of distance on it. Jury telling Hall exactly where he wants it played. It goes in deeper, though, towards Dixon. Oh, that was a marvellous save by Seeley, and very nearly a spectacular third goal for Chelsea. Seeley's furious, but it seemed no one jumped with Dixon. Well, the two centre halves uh, are arguing with each other because Kerry Dixon got in between them there, and the header just was may just have hit the bar. Four men in the Chelsea wall. Blackmore sets it up for Ince to hit it. Good save by Besant. And Paul Ince still hasn't managed to score a goal at Old Trafford. He's only got two. They both came at Portsmouth in a League Cup tie. Just two goals in 53 appearances for Manchester United. Will not get closer than that, though. Webb for Manchester United. Oh, that's a good interception by young Matthew. He's done really well. Oh, look at that! What a good effort by Damian Matthew. 
Bruce now for Manchester United. They're still 2-1 behind. United have got very ragged again, Alan, haven't they? They had that early pressure in the second half. They looked as if they might get back on turns, but they've gone a little bit ragged over the last 10 minutes. Great ball, though, from Enns to Wallace. And Hughes wants it played first time into the box. And Hughes gets the ball he wanted and equalises for Manchester United. Brilliant cross by Wallace. There seemed an awful lot of room for me, Alan, down that uh, left side of uh, United, of Chelsea's defence. Danny Wallace had uh, all the time in the world to control it. Have a look. I will see could Dave Besson have got it. Just eluded him. So, back on terms, we've got a game on our hands here now. Can well, United go ahead and win it? Hughes was calling for that cross the moment the ball was played out to the right, and he met it brilliantly for his fifth goal of the season. Sixth in the table, Manchester United. 20 points from 13 games, but under pressure here from young Stewart. Wilson, back it goes to Stewart. He ran into Webb, and the referee has given a penalty. Webb can't believe it, and I'm not certain either. But anyway, the referee, Mr Ashworth, was certain, and young Graham Stewart has earned Chelsea. A lifeline with this penalty. Well, was he going across his path? Was that a deliberate foul by Webb? I think that was de a definite penalty. I mean, he's <laughs> Stewart's got the ball, he's running with it, and he's, he's just knocked over, he's bowled over. It's got to be a penalty kick. Well, Dennis Wise has scored four times from the spot already this season, and Chelsea would be very grateful that Bobby Campbell decided to leave him in the side. He's an expert penalty taker. His place was under threat. You shouldn't have said he was an expert penalty taker, Alan. Why not? That was expert enough. And Chelsea are in front again. You can see the beads of perspiration even on a cold day on Bobby Campbell's face. What a match this is. 77 minutes gone. Alistair's header, it's Webb, oh, it went across everybody, Wallace, and Hall heads it behind for a corner, amazing that when Webb threaded it through then, nobody was there to get a touch, that's all he would have needed. Quickly back from McClare to Webb. Alistair getting up high again, but it's gone behind, and Chelsea have a goal kick. 